something that happened. When Moses came back, Moses heard and saw Israel worshipping idol. The Bible says he was so angry. What did he do? He broke the very epistle that God gave to him, the Ten Commandments. Moses broke it out of anger. Some people will teach that and said, well, Moses had a problem with anger even after he met with God. Even after he met with God, he was still an angry person. So they usually justify, so I'm just a human. So even if you see me, if, uh, Moses had the same problem also. It is not exactly true. Let me tell you, go and read the scriptures. Before that incident, before that incident, Every time that Israel has gone the wrong way, what did Moses do? Moses did an intercession for them and pleaded with the Lord, isn't it? Even when the Lord said, let me kill this generation, let me wipe out this nation, I will raise the people out of you. Moses said, if you do this, what would the unbelievers say? What would the unbelieving nation say? They will say that you are not strong enough to take us. They will say that you are weak. They will say that you killed us because you couldn't deliver on your promises. And so Moses was always on an intercession for Israel. Always. Something happened. Moses went to spend 40 days with Jehovah. He caught. He caught the nature of God. He caught the nature of the divine. Huh. The, the Bible says he made us partakers of the divine nature. Are you hearing me? After 40 days, Moses caught divinity in him. And so Moses began to see sin as God sees sin. Are you hearing me? Moses had a revelation about the holiness of God. He had a revelation of the holiness of God. And so when Moses was coming after that for the day, apart from the fact that his body was glowing, what, which was an outflow of his spirit glowing. Let me say this. Moses' body and face was glowing because his spirit has been illuminated. And so, the, the, that spiritual glow, that spiritual illumination, it showed up on his face. And so, when Moses now saw sin among the Israelites, when he saw sin among the Israelites, he couldn't handle it anymore because he has become like God. He has caught the divine nature. Are you hearing me? And so, he couldn't understand why Israel will still be in sin, in idol worship. And out of that provocation, remember that, remember that, God said, let me wipe out this nation as a result of their sin. Moses couldn't wipe them out, but Moses broke the Ten Commandments and said to them, all of you, you must drink this your God. He grinded it into powder, poured it into the water, and said, all of them should drink. And you know what? As he commanded, they were drinking. Because they noticed that the anger of Moses at that time, if you say no, he may kill you on the spot. So he said, drink your God. They were drinking. Are you hearing me? They were drinking. Why? Because Moses caught a revelation of the holiness of God. Moses became a partaker of the divine nature. So when we spend time in praying and fasting, our spirit ought to have been illuminated. There ought to be an outflow of that light, of that holiness in our lives and through our lives. And what do we do? We begin to walk in it. Shout hallelujah. 